Hi, this is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to make a easy washcloth using the Suzette stitch. This stitch is an easy combination of the single and double crochet and it makes um, a kind of interlocking texture that's double sided and is easy to do. I'm using one skein of peaches and cream stripey in Quiet Dahlia and an H five millimeter crochet hook. Okay, for this dishcloth pattern, you want an even number. I crochet, I chained 24, and we're going to do a row of single crochet for the first row. So crochet, do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and in each stitch across. Okay, you can pause and do that. Okay, so we have one single crochet in each of the stitches. We're going to chain one and turn our work. The chain one counts as the first stitch of the row, and then you're going to put a double crochet in the same space. Then you're going to skip one stitch, put a double crochet, a single and a double crochet in the next stitch. Skip one, put a single and a double crochet. And this is the repeat. Single, double, and one stitch. Skip one stitch and then single and a double. And then you repeat that until the end of the row. And you know that you have the correct amount of stitches. If you end with the last stitch will be here, will be in the last stitch of the row, which you finish with a single and a double crochet. Then we're ready to turn for the next row, chain one. So it should look like this, chain one and turn. This chain one counts as the first stitch of the row, and then you're going to put a double crochet in the same stitch. Then you are going to skip to this single crochet here, and then your double and single crochet combination is going to go in the single um, crochet stitch from the row before, before for the rest of the pattern. So single, double, skip this double and put it in the single, single, double crochet, and so you can see the start of the repeat. And then you repeat this row for the rest of the pattern until you get the length that you want. And I repeated it for as many rows until it was square. The dish cloth was square. 
And this yarn works well for um, dishcloth. It's not too heavy. It's easy to crochet with. Um, the yarn didn't split. And it's easy to get. And there we come to the end of the row. Um, when you make your last stitch on the last row, you're going to want to do two singles instead of a single and a double because it makes um, so the double doesn't um, stick out. But here you're just going to do a double crochet, chain one, and turn. And then you're going to start your next row. Um, with a double crochet in the same stitch. And then in each single crochet, you'll put a single and a double and just keep repeating. And you'll end up with a pretty striped dishcloth like this. Um, thank you for watching my tutorial. You can see this and um, more free patterns at amorecraftylife.com. Thanks.